Welcome back, peeps. We're going to give 1942 one more try. I just played a level. That's why you're seeing a different score. <laughs> and I was curious about how close you were to level two. And it turns out you're pretty close. So we'll try one more time to get to level two, huh? Yeah, exactly. I give it a shot. That's all I can do. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Uh, while we took a break, folks, I did inform Pixel Pack and Mama about the some of the basics differences between Famicom and NES, talking a little more about Nintendo Thumb uh, and why some of us experienced it and some of us didn't, and why I'm I'm making her use the original controller despite the Nintendo Thumb issue. Uh, so yeah. Trying to trying to teach her the ways of the gamer. You know, you can't learn about anything if you don't learn its history. Uh, speaking of which, we also learned that these power-ups uh, don't seem to power up beyond this. The only thing that I can think of is maybe it takes two more to get some more shots. Uh, it's certainly possible. Actually, I'm going to... Let's see if I can look that up successfully. I didn't look up the other stuff successfully. Uh, video game. Power up. It's not PowerPoint. But who wants a PowerPoint thing for this game? Come on now. Alright. We're going to strategywiki.org. See what they say. Oh no, this is actually about the arcade version. Oh yeah, uh, also we should mention to everybody watching this episode, uh, the sound may be slightly better. We were wearing headsets, we're getting the sound of the game in these headsets. We had no idea we left the uh, computer speakers on, <laughs> so... Sorry if that's getting picked up on the other mics. There's a chance that it really wasn't, but uh, I leave it up to the engineering team. Basically, the teams who do all of our jobs here. Pixel Pack and Mama has so far said two words total. <laughs> that's good. Sorry, but I, I'm really bad at playing when I'm talking. I'm bad at playing anyway, but even worse when I'm talking. Oh, man, see? I talk like a kill. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I can't talk and play. Let me try this again. Oh, we were talking about something over the phone a couple weeks ago. I think, uh, I don't remember if it was my cousin Carrie or Kim who reminded you of this. So I'll share this with everybody because I don't, I don't think it came up before. But, so the Pixel Pack and Mama is saying she has a hard time engaging in a conversation while also playing a game well. And I'm sure there's a bunch of people who have experienced that. Uh, one thing that had come up recently is something I do remember experiencing when I first started playing video games. It was with an NES. Uh, it was right around the time the Super Nintendo was coming out. We talked about that on the intro to Joy Boys with me and Rob. But one weird issue that I, I found that I had, the first time I played video games... I didn't know if I would be playing them for a while or not, because it seemed like my friends who had video games didn't want to play them. So being at my cousin's house and being shown video games made me think, oh, sure, they're showing them to me now, but we're not going to play these for a while. So there was no reason to get settled in. So I stood there thinking, we're going to be done soon and go do something else. Uh, finding out instead, no, they're they're cool, they like video games, they enjoy playing them, they don't mind putting time into it. But it created this weird mental issue that I had with playing video games early on. I had to stand while playing them. I would find, for example, if I'm playing Mario 3, if I sat down the timing of all my jumps would be wrong. It, ju it took me a long time, and I remember being a kid and just actively thinking to myself, I have to force myself to sit down and play these to get used to the idea of sitting down and playing a game. As strange and backwards as that is. <laughs> what were you trying to do there? <laughs> I didn't need to pause it. <laughs> I'm not really sure what I was trying to do. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, so, yeah, you know what? I'm curious if anybody else out there has little things like that. When we spoke about this over the phone, uh, there was another one I was aware of other people having that I did not experience, which was playing a game like uh, a racing game or a flying game, and any time they turned to the left in the game, their whole bodies would lean to the left, as if that had anything to do with how they were going to move. That's interesting. Oh yeah, there's yeah. tons of little things That's like that. That's interesting about that. All right, this is the time, guys. She's going to beat this level. I also mentioned off-air before we actually started recording these episodes. I think this game is a good example and, and so important enough for us to play. But when it comes to the NES games, this is the second one. It won't really be until I think the fifth one that we, we start getting into the games that... I really love, and I'm going to have the hardest time not like being like, no, do this, or no, do that. I see you've given up on worrying about those power-ups. Yeah, I have, because I'm trying to do something different. Sure. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. <laughs> oh, yep, that didn't work. <laughs> now, see, I didn't pass the island yet, right? Yeah, so it seems so to be based really on something else. Then. Okay, so yeah. at least I know now. Yeah, so the sound design problem seems to be that instead of giving you background music and any sort of droning sound like of planes flying around, they wanted all the sound to be the scoreboard going up and the uh, uh, sound of your guns firing. I do believe this was an arcade game. I think everything looked a little bit better, uh, and I imagine it probably sounded better too. Pixel Pack and Mama Focus, because I knew he was coming up. <laughs> and there he is, the gunship or whatever that's supposed to be. Nice dodging. So, again, definitely seeing signs of improvement with your playing. <laughs> so, something else this is making me think of? What is that? The statistics at the end are doing something that... <laughs> I mean, go ahead and play. All right. Uh, but it shows each letter one at a time with a sound effect for each one. And it makes me think of PowerPoint presentations when that was a new thing. And people just felt compelled to do exactly that. And it just drags things out for no good reason. It's bad design. And believe me, I... I work for Joy Boys. I'm all about bad design. <laughs> I was about to say the the Joy Boys and Gals audience out there are uh, getting a heavy dose of World War II since Rob and I recently recorded Medal of Honor. However, I forgot. That won't be up until a month from now, and this won't be up for four to five months from now, so <laughs> it won't line up at all. <laughs> oh, that one came I, off stream. Did you see him? Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. He just came right out. That's a little unfair. Yeah, he came right out. <laughs> I was trying to escape that one, and he disappeared. I had to readjust my microphone a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't mess things up too much. <sighs> Yo. You backed up into that. I did. That was all you. It, it was. <laughs> guilty. All right, so Respect. here's what we're going to do. <laughs> one more run, and this is going to be it. You make it. Now we step. know what happens. I'm just saying we have. I have a track record for this. 
but I'm going to try to break it because like, when you say it's the last run, I'm going to be, do better. Like every <laughs> high school gym teacher, you got to remember to yell at the top of your lungs to the kids, finish strong. <laughs> so that's how you're going to do it here. Yeah, I think people hearing about the way you're super tensing up for this, they're probably all thinking, oh man, he's got to have her play some VR games then. <laughs> We're a long way away from even considering VR, however. Are we? Oh, yeah. Oh, so he got me again. Yep. I didn't even see him coming that time. <laughs> but again, I'm, I know I was looking, but I guess I need to. Pixel Pack and Mama, changing the definition of finishing strong. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Plane doesn't move as fast as you want it to, huh? <laughs> oh, hey, you made it. You're alive. Somehow. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, but that, Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> There's the end of the level. Survive. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, man. That was it. That was the goal. Oh, I was so close. You oh. were a second or two away. I know. <laughs> oh, man. You know, it was, a, it was a strong finish in comparison. Okay. So we get that much at least. All right. Uh, Sorry for all the screaming, but I get panicked <laughs> and I'm like, ah! I didn't know what to do. Well, no, I briefly mentioned, so at some point today, I'm going to have to show you uh, Scott Johnson of Frog Pants Network playing certain scary games. He, he's a, a, a podcaster and now streamer who I absolutely love. He's, he seems like a great guy and everybody else at, uh, at uh, Frog Pants as well. But he, he yells. Okay. But the first time you ever hear him do it, it is a complete surprise, the sound of his yell. Okay. I'll look <laughs> so, forward to that. <laughs> but, all right, guys. Well, we've rewritten history. <laughs> Japan won. Uh, they now have Hawaii. <laughs> Sorry. So, <laughs> thanks for joining us. And uh, Pixel Pack and Mama is going to have to soothe her Nintendo thumb. <laughs> Actually, she won't because we're going to move on after a few minutes to the next game. Oh, great. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.